Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make a simple grocery shop inventory management system using PHP and jQuery. Here, these are the items available in our grocery shop. Okay, this simple uh, point of sale system application. So here, if you are here, there will be the two choice, gram and kilogram, right? It's a gram and kilogram when you are buying the sugar, tea, flour, rice, dal, there will be the two options, right? Uh, a gram, this is a kilogram, right? So here, if you are select the sugar as 500 grams, you are select as 500 gram, it's a gram, right? And T you are select as 1, 2 kilo. Okay, if you are click OK, here the price should be 2, uh, 1 kilo price should be sugar 12, the 500 grams mean the 6, the price, right? Again, we are look at the uh, T, the 2 kilo, I have selected 2 kilo, 1 kilo price should be 15, 2 kilo you are selected, so 30, right? This how we have calculate the amount, right? So 36, right? Again, I am re resetted, again I am going to go here. Sugar, I am going to buy 2 kilos, 1 kilo, tea by uh, 250 grams, grams, and flour, I am going to, flour, I am going to buy uh, 2 kilos, rice, I am going to buy 700 grams, dal, I am going to buy 4, 2, 4, 40 grams, okay grams here grams right if you are calculating the amount we will be able to see okay, very simple okay very simple here just uh, 32 is the price okay you will be able to see the all the price right this is how the grocery shop will be work it's very helpful for this uh, system for the grocery shops okay so let me see how to do this program step by step so if so let me moving to our design. So I have installed the VS Code editor in order to write the code. Okay, it's very simple editor for writing the code, right? So here this is a simple editor. If you want to download, you just go to the Google and type v VS Code editor. You will be able to get this nice editor. Here you will be able to create the project, right? I have I have a folder called PHP project. Inside the folder I have created uh, right click a new file index.php. I have created the file, right? After these are the blue uh, bootstrap plugins, right? So this all I am going to go to the respective bootstrap website and I will download them. Here you just go here, go to the bootstrap respective website. This is the official website of bootstrap. Click on this one, get started. Here you have to copy the two relevant files, right? CSS bootstrap.css as well as bootstrap uh, bootstrap.js. These both files you have to copy and paste inside the add tag right then the, all the plugin will be work right then only you will be able to write the, this nice user design user ui design you have to work with the bootstrap right style all the styles we are included okay so bootstrap style if you are included okay after that you have to write the nav bar the nav bar we are writing for the writing the heading of the heading grocery shop right don't worry about this, this is all the source code, source code i will provide in my website okay don't worry about that so okay now here after that you have to write the div tag class row i have separate the class so you have to this is the row we have the column we have to simple five five means this is the size you have to five we are divided by three this is the five okay so we are divided five so here we have to write the i uh, this is the new active item uh, item this is the edit right inside here we have to create the nice panel uh, you have to white Okay, dark we have to write like this. So here we have to write the simple this is these are the input fields we have to return, right? We have input first input field means sugar. This is the info uh, uh, checkbox. This is a checkbox, right? Sugar, tea, flour is all the five. We have created the input field uh, input type checkbox. Uh, this is the quantity. Uh, this means quantity, this is a quantity, this is the uh, number of value, how many how much you are buying. This is the drop down. Uh, you will be able to select gram or, uh, gram or uh, kilogram 
uh, there is an option. So you have to write the option like this, the simple one. Uh, the same one, we just copy and paste below as well. We just change it as this one T. Uh, the quantity also uh, as it is same. Okay, the option also same. Okay, this or the the name you want change. Okay, only the uh, input field only we have changed the name. The checkbox only we have changed the name. This uh, check sorry. The uh, checkbox here sugar value. This value only we have changed. This all the names are we have to the common name. Checkbox also the quantity also con common name. This all the name we have commonly we have put it. Okay here this all the name pos. Uh, this pos. Okay this all the name we have commonly put. Quantity the option option. This is the option. Okay. Uh, the same thing we have to do the floor as well. This is a floor. Okay. The same uh, task we have we did in the floor as well. Uh, after that we have create another one for rice. This is the rice. Rice also the same thing. This is a checkbox quantity. The TR is starting from here, closing here. Uh, this is the option. Okay. So gram and kilogram. After that we have to go for the dal. Dal also the same thing. Here we have right. Uh, after that we have to write the, the dal also the straight and bit. Okay, this is the simple application we have did to create the nice user interface. After that we have to create the OK button. After complete the table, after did all the relevant uh, UI design we have did uh, regarding the inventory management system. After that when you enter all the what is item you are need, you have to check all the stuff. Uh, we need a uh, one button for uh, add the item into the table so we have to create one button uh, button type this is the style okay we have to use it uh, we have created one uh, on click method for uh, we have uh, one item we are checked on the checkbox and click add button it need to be added into the table right so this is the on click method uh, after check all the uh, uh, required item and click add button what happened is go for the function which is add function below. Add function. Okay. So add function. We have created the this is the jQuery part. We have attached the jQuery. Uh, we no need this one. Okay, we, we already jQuery plugin, all the stuff we have put it here. It is not. Okay, so jQuery bin dot yes, we have to uh, put it here. Okay, we no need to put it again, right? We have to put it here, we no need to put, right? Okay. Uh, okay, we no need to go. This is we go to the relevant website and we have to call them jQuery, right? Okay, you just go to the jQuery instead of writing jQuery. Okay, this is the respective website for jQuery. You will be able to download the uh, jQuery plugins over here. Otherwise, you have to get get the one in the internet. You will be able to get right. You have to go to the. Uh, you can find it the jQuery. Uh, jQuery. jQuery. Online. jQuery online. Here, here, it's, it will be available here. I, I just got uh, copy and paste it over here. This one. Here, this one. I just copy and Google see again. I just copy and this one. I paste it to my here. That's how I, I have get, uh, get it here. Uh, the this one. I put it here. Okay, this one we are working. No problem. Right. If you are not to include that uh, plugin, it won't work here. The JavaScript will be not working. Okay, the JavaScript, the script type. So you have to write. First, you have to create the variable tot equals zero. So here, total equals zero, right? So after that, you have to create the variable uh, function add. When you are click the add part uh, function here, this button. When you are click on this add, it's coming here. First, you have to check what is the input field you are checking on the checkbox, right? Okay, there is no need. Okay, checkbox, right? So here, the price. Here, let uh, check. Okay, check. We have a function. You have to get it let. If sugar, if the if you are check on the sugar, if you are on the sugar, uh, after that the price will be. I have to default. You have to put it the five. I just put the five. Okay, I just think and put this five. So if the if the you check out ch check out the T, this is the price. If you check out the floor, this is the price. This is the rice. This is the price. Dal, this is the price. I just think and enter some prices over here. Simple jQuery, right? 
here input name pass check me this is the unique field we have put it here yeah the name of the checkbox pass so all checkbox we name here put it like this pass 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 unique name then only it will be getting the unique name and you have to get the uh, checked item this property is calling and check each and every it is really simple to get it here after that we have to write the variable here var cal amount we have to calculate the amount right so after that quantity quantity also we have to write like this we have to find the quantity uh, the input field quantity okay so here quantity you have to put the quantity here then the same name the quantity the, all the name should be the same so we no need to uh, differentiate the name with simple code i have written so what is the quantity you are selecting over here it automatically identify which text box you are selected okay which text box we are selected it easily identify by the by here the javascript provide the easy easy option here jquery if you find the find by the name it easily find it here okay then it will be calculated this this is not here okay after that we have write the variable var cell uh, var cell okay so here we have write uh, the amount right uh, closest dr select we have write select so we have write check out uh, check this two two option right if cell uh, val equal to uh, we have val equal to mean so we have write uh, this one we have to uh, simply you have write here uh, final dot Just write simply option final change option change just option change then you easy option change option change so option change right okay what's the value you are selected okay so here tr find option change mean what is the value you are selected over here what's the value gram or kilogram it will be getting over here it will be checked value equal to mean here i like i write like this here gram mean option 1 kilogram mean option 2 so likewise it selected kilogram here gram will be 2 so it will be do uh, kilogram will be 2 it will be do the this following calculation what the quantity you are entered what the price it will be doing if it is 1 mean it's a gram so you have to write the float uh, pass fl pass float quantity we have to we have to divide by 1000 so 1 kilogram 1 uh, gram 1000 kilogram ki like this the calculation it will be work after this all the all the things are calculating and added to the table which table it is added this table okay when you calculate it select the gram it is added like this so simply you have to write like this table you have to write like this so after that all the calculation should be done it is you have to write the table there will be the this uh, t body append the table value this all the value added into the t body t body mean here simple table you have created this is all the heading should be there t body inside the t body we are calling to this so all the uh, uh, things what i did here okay this is the stuff i did or if you want to delete the row we are call this function it will be delete the row very simple it will be log delete the row when you are calling the function if you are reset the form you are calling the uh, location read row very simple code we have written to uh, do it this one uh, i hope you guys you understood these things well don't worry about this all source code i provide in my website thank you for watching if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching